सो चंद्रशेखर वेंकट रमन और सो सी वी रमन वॉज बोर्न ऑन सेवेंथ नवम्बर एटीन एटी एट ही वॉज एन इंडियन फिजिसिस्ट बोर्न इन द फॉर्म ऑफ मद्रास प्रोवियंस इन अ विलेज नेम्ड तिरुचिरापल्ली इन इंडिया हु कैरीड आउट ग्राउंड ब्रेकिंग वर्क इन द फील्ड ऑफ लाइट स्कैटरिंग विच ऑन हिम द नाइनटीन थर्टी नोबल प्राइज फॉर फिजिक्स At an early age Raman moved to the city of Visakhapatnam and studied at St Aloysius Anglo-Indian High School. He was a brilliant student and passed his matriculation examination when he was just 11. At the age of 13 he passed his FA examination with a scholarship in 1902. Sir C V Raman joined the Presidency College in Madras where his father was a lecturer in mathematics and physics. In 1904 he passed his bachelor of science examination from the University of Madras where he stood first and won the gold medal in physics. In 1907 he gained his Master of Science degree with the highest distinctions from the University of Madras. In 1917, Raman resigned from his government services after he was appointed the first Pellet Professor of Physics at the University of Calcutta. Raman used to refer to this period as the golden era of his career. During a voyage to Europe in 1921. Raman noticed the blue color of glaciers and the Mediterranean Sea. He was motivated to discover the reason for the blue color. On 28th February 1928, Raman led experiments at the IACS with collaborators including K S Krishnan on the scattering of light when he discovered what now is called the Raman effect. What is Raman effect and what's the stuff in the Raman effect that made it win the Nobel prize when a light beam travels through a substance the light is deflected by the molecules of the substance it means the particles of substance absorbs photon light energy and subsequently emits light in this process the frequency of the absorbed light is exactly same as the frequency of the emitted light it means the energy of the incident light is exactly same as the energy of the emitted light and there will be no loss of energy this is what we call rayleigh's scattering of light but sir c v raman observed very little 1 in 10 million particles scattered light at a slight different wavelength then the incident light wavelength this change in wavelength of the light beam is known as the raman effect and it forms an important part of spectroscopy this happens due to absorption of some energy by the molecules the raman interaction leads to two possible outcomes the material absorbs energy and the emitted photon has a lower energy than the absorbed photon This outcome is labeled as Stokes Raman scattering in honor of George Stokes who showed in 1852 that fluorescence is due to light emission at longer wavelength than the absorbed incident light the material loses energy and the emitted photon has a higher energy than the absorbed photon this outcome is labeled as anti Stokes Raman scattering the applications of Raman effect the capability to use Raman's spectroscopy has evolved significantly with the application of modern lasers, electronics and software. Throughout his entire life, Sir C V Raman got many awards and medals for his achievement in physics. Raman was honored with a large number of honorary doctorates. and memberships of scientific societies he had made his motherland proud by becoming the first indian to win 
the Nobel Prize in the year 1930 for physics. Raman was the only Indian FRS who resigned from the fellowship of Royal Society. In the year 1941, Sir Raman was awarded the Franklin Medal. In 1954, he was awarded the Bharat Ratna Award. He was also awarded the Lenin Peace Prize in 1957. In the year 1998, the American Chemical Society and Indian Association for the Cultivation of Science recognized Raman's discovery as an international historic chemical landmark. In India, 28th February of every year is celebrated as a national day to commemorate the discovery of the Raman effect. So C V Raman died at the age of 82 of heart diseases on 21st November 1970 in Bangalore, India. At the end we would like to thank Sir C V Raman for his exemplary contribution to science and india